naye tukimaliza kuimba huo wimbo tutaomba na naamini mchungaji atakuwa tayari akiingia kwa ajili ya kuokoa muda. Nambari ya 56 wimbo za injili. Kwa wale mnaweza kujiunga pamoja kuimba nasi itakuwa vizuri. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Ni ziri Yesu kumtoa wangu mapenzi yake tu kwanza na ziri kuzijua upendo na hoko kupia mungu
Jesus. Yeah, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your grace, Father. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your protection, Father. Amen. We thank you, Lord, you have given us the strength to come this far, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are grateful from our hearts, Father. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord, you have prepared another time for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. To be gathered here together, Lord. Amen. To listen to your precious word, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we have come here, Father, mm. seeking, Lord, to have a closer walk with you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, and there is no way but you are the only way, Father. Amen. Oh, the way of the word, dear Lord. Yes, And Lord. we have come to receive from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. That, Father, we may have life, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask you, Father, that at this particular time, you will be pleased, Lord, to yes. sanctify us yes, with Lord your Jesus. precious blood. Father, Amen. whatever we have not walked right, Lord, mm -hmm. we ask you to have mercy upon us, Father, that yes, you will Lord. consecrate us with your precious blood. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father, at this particular time, we are pleading with you, Lord, mm. that, Father, may we find favor before you that you will speak with us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak with our souls, Father. May yes, you Lord. strengthen us, Lord, mm. Father, and at the end of the meetings, Father, mm. let each and every one of us, Lord, Oh, Father, walk with joy in their hearts, Father. Yes, Lord. To know that you have spoken with us, Father. Yes, Jesus. We ask you humbly, Lord, that you grant us that favor, Lord. Grant it, Lord. Bless us together, Lord, even mm. our brothers and sisters, various places, Lord, wherever they are, Father. Mm. Listening to this sermon, Father. Yes, Lord. We are praying Precious that, Father, Jesus. you reach out and bless their souls, Father. Bless them, Lord. Strengthen them, Lord, in this hour where, mm. Father, we truly need you, Lord. Mm. May you reach out and bless them, Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, we dedicate get our brother here who is going to stand before us here mm. lord in yes, your hands lord. that lord may he find favor before you that you will sanctify his lips lord yes that lord. you will strengthen him father that mm. you will use him to bless our souls father yes lord. we commit him to you and we commit each and every one of us that is here lord mm. in your hands that father you will be pleased to be with us lord yes lord. let the holy ghost take over and bless us father Oh, God, and let all glory and honor be unto you, Father. Yes, Lord. We commit all things to you, believing and trusting that you will take care of all things. Lord. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, once again, as our brother has said, we are thankful and we appreciate that the Lord Jesus has given us another opportunity uh, in this life that we may be able to come and listen to something, at least which we believe God has prepared for us. Yeah. It's a great opportunity, it's a great chance uh, that we are enabled to have. And uh, because of that, we don't want to waste a lot of time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We just want to take the shortest time possible because we know we are um, getting closer to the uh, curfew hours and we don't want to delay so much. Precious, we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will bless us abundantly. Amen. I want us to stand up and read from the scriptures. <laughs> From Daniel, from no, from Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Kumbukumbla Torati, Amen, Kumbukumbla Torati, Lango, Waishirina Nane, I'll read in English that we can read in Kiswahili as we sit down, Amen, Deuteronomy 28. Uh, from verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, uh, high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come out on thee and overtake thee, uh, if thou shalt hearken unto the Lord and the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city 
and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be in the, in the shall be the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy ground, the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thine kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause this. And thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, mm. and they shall come out against thee one way, and shall flee before and flee before thee in seven ways. Mm. The Lord shall uh, command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and thou. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Our precious Father, we thank you once again that we have read what we know is your precious word. It's written, Lord, for our admonition, for, our, for an example to us. That Lord God, your master, may be able to perform and do it, Lord. And that the blessings of God may be upon us, precious Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because I believe, Father, that the blessings of God come upon your precious word. Mm -hmm. does not come upon the written word. Blessed Jesus, it comes upon the, the spoken word, the living word. Mm -hmm. That when this word is received in the hearts of the people, and they live true to this word and keep this word, and the blessings come upon the people. Mm -hmm. Then, Lord God, thy blessings are seen and are manifested by our people that are walking out there, blessed Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We are counting on you, precious Father. You have never failed to bless your children as long as they are walking true to you, Lord. Mm. My Father, and we also believe there are curses for them that do not walk according to your precious word. Sure. My Father, Lord God, I pray that you bless us this evening. Speak to us. Mm. Grant it, Father, is our prayer. Sanctify my lips and cleanse me. For in Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Na mneno linasema ya kwamba, itakuja kuwa kwamba wakatu taka poisikiza sauti ya bana mungu wako kwa bidi. Na kutazama, kuona ya kwamba, unatenda maagizo eh, yake kwa agizayo, ni kwa agizayo leo hii. Kwa mba kwana mungu atakuweka juu saidi ya mataifa yote elio duniani. Na isi baraka sitakuja juu yako na ukuchukua kama utasikisa sauti ya kwana mungu wako. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So tunaona ya kwamba baraka sinakuja tu wakati unaposikisa sauti ya kwana mungu. Amina. Amen. Na sauti ya kwana ni neno. Mungu akituma baraka zake ama akituma kitu chochote hizo baraka za Mungu lazima sipate kitu cha kutua juu yake mm. na hizo baraka utua juu ya neno Amen. blessed be the name of the lord so hali baraka sikuji juu ya neno ambalo limeandikwa hapa bali baraka sinakuja juu ya lile neno ambalo limepokelewa katika mioyo ya watu So wakati baraka za Mungu zitapokuja juu ya watu ambao wamepokea neno basi hivyo ndivyo baraka za Mungu udhihirisho kwa ulimwengu. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Yeah, na bado tunasumuza kuhusu eh, nguvu ama uwezo wa kufanya uamuzi, uwezo wa kufanya uamuzi. Nimesoma tu hayo maandiko kuweza kuonyesha jinsi mtu anaweza kufanya uamuzi. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Na maandika inasema, itakuja kuwa wakati utakaposikiza sauti ya bwana mungu kwa BD. So hiyo BD, ndiyo nataka nzumzia kidogo. Hiyo BD, si BD ya nguvu. Bila unabiyoza kufanya kazi kwa nguvu. Lakini ni jinsi unabiyo chukua neno la mungu kima hakimi. Amen. Wakati unapotilia maanani neno. Wakati unapotikua neno la mungu maisha ni mwako liwe kwamba ni kila kitu kwako. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Ni wakati unapoamua na moyo wako wote kwamba 
utaishia neno uta, utachukua hilo neno utachukua gharama yenye nakuja na hilo neno e, utachukua hasara yenye nakuja na hilo neno na hata faida inayokuja na hilo neno Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana jina la Bwana litukuzwe sana so hiyo ndio maana ya e, ilo andiko nasema itakuja kuwa itakuja kuwa kwamba utakaposikiza sauti ya Bwana Mungu kwa bidii kwa bidii yani kwa moyo wako wote blessed be the name of the lord amen yani kwa wakati neno litakuwa kila kitu kwako neno litakuwa na muhimu maisha mwako kuliko kitu kingine chochote blessed be the name of the lord amen. mungu hafanyi kazi na sisi mpaka aone kwamba tume tume tumechukua hilo neno na mioyo yetu yote kwamba hatuna hakuna kitu cha substitute neno Mungu anafurahi sana wakati anapoona moyo wako ama moyo wangu ukichukua neno lake kama the ultimate mm-hmm. yeah, there is nothing else the macho yako hayatazami kwa kitu kingine hayatazami kwa mtu mwingine neno la macho yako yanatazama tu kwa Mungu pekee amen iwe katika hali ngumu ama iwe katika hali nzuri iwe mambo yanaenda sawa ama mambo yanaenda hayaendi sawa ule uamuzi unaochukua kwamba utasimama na neno la Mungu is that right Amen. hiyo ndiyo inaleta baraka za Mungu maisha yetu blessed be the name of the lord Amen. na Mungu anawajibika tu kwetu wakati tunapochukua neno hivyo jina la Bwana barikiwe sana Amen. na nataka ni tuone eh, andiko hapa kidogo katika Danieli E, Danieli mlango wa kwanza mstari wa nane Danieli mlango wa kwanza mstari wa nane Kabla sijasoma nataka nipeane background blessed be the name of the lord Now maandiko haya andiko hili nasumuza kuhusu wale wana wa Israeli wana wa Ibrania waliochukuliwa mateka si na mfalme wa Babeli Si, na akawachukua mateka akawapeleka Babiloni. Wale ambao walichukuliwa mateka, mateka mmoja wao alikuwa Danieli. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Na Danieli akiwa Myahudi, alikuwa amefunzwa ame neno. Ame, ame, ame anajua kile Mungu alisema kupitia kwa manabii wengine, kupitia kwa e, e, sheria za, zake na maagizo ya Bwana alijua kabisa blessed be the name of the lord Amen. na kwa sababu alikuwa miaudi alijua hakuna kitu kingine angeweza kufanya ila tu kutii neno la Bwana Mungu mm-hmm. Bwana wetu barikiwe sana Amen. so walipopelekwa kule eh, Babeli si mfalme wa Babiloni akaona walikuwa vijana wazuri mmoja Danieli na wenzake Shadrach Meshach Abednego blessed be the name of the lord Amen. Na sasa kwa sababu walikuwa walionekana ni vijana wa hekima walionekana ambao vijana ambao walikuwa na, na neema ya Mungu juu yao Mfalme wa Babeli hakutaka awalishe chakula ambacho mate, kwa mateke wengine walikuwa na kula akaona afadhali awalishe chakula ambacho yeye mwenyewe alikuwa na kula Bwana wetu barikiwe sana Sasa hapa ndiyo nataka nisome sasa jina la Bwana sana Bali Danieli akakusudia moyoni mwake kwamba hata chichafua na sehemu ya vyakula na ya nyama na divai ya mfalme ambayo alikunywa kwa hivyo akaomba e, msimamizi wa e, the eunuchs yani e, kwamba e, hata chichafua mwenyewe bwana wetu barikiwe sana that statement is an, is enough kwamba Danieli aliamua moyoni mwake kwamba aliona kulingana na bila amefunzwa bila amelelewa akaona hivi vyakula labda vimetolewa me, wakfu kwa miungu si vimetolewa wakfu kwa miungu ya Babeli na akaona kula hivi vyakula ni kuchafua ni kuchafua imani yake kuchafua ile fundisho wanaita barikiwe sana Amen. yale mambo ambayo alikuwa amefunzwa 
na wazazi wake blessed be the name of the lord mm. alijua ya kwamba wa Israeli ama Wayahudi peke yao ndio walikuwa waabuduo wa Mungu wa kweli mm. na kuabudu kungine kokote kulikuwa si kwa kweli Bwana wetu barikiwe sana na akaona hata kichafua <coughs> si na hivi yakula kwa sababu moyoni mwake alijua ya kwamba hivi yakula vimetolewa kama eh, sacrifice vimetolewa kama ya kama dhabihu kwa miungu ya wababeli so kula hivi vyakula vingemchafua kwa maneno mengine blessed be the name of the lord vile alikuwa amefunzwa hakutaka mafundisho mengine hakutaka afunzwe kitu kingine kwa sababu vyakula hapa vinawakilisha neno na divai hapa inawakilisha uisho yani inspiration hakutaka acha acha achafue the, the teachings ambayo alikuwa amepewa sa kimsingi sa maisha ya ukristiano au maisha ya kiungu hakutaka aweze kuchanganya hiyo mafundisho na uisho au na huo uisho na kitu kingine chochote maanika nasema na akachagua akakusudia moyoni mwake it was a choice blessed be the name of the lord amen he had a choice to choose to eat those foods and drink that wine ama kule mboga bwana leta barikiwe sana lakini danieli akiwa na b bwana leta barikiwe sana alikuwa na ono flani alikuwa na kitu moyoni mwake kilichomwambia hapana mimi sitakula hicho chakula wanipe kitu chakula kingine ya kawaida na mimi naamini chakula ambayo nimezoea na naamini hiyo chakula itanipa afya blessed be the name of the lord Amen. are we together brethren Amen. so he made a choice see alifanya uamuzi he didn't want to define himself hakutaka kuchafua jina la bwana libarikiwe sana Amen. oh nakumbuka andiko lingine kidogo eh naamini nitalipata jina la bwana libarikiwe sana amen. amen blessed be the name of the lord nataka na andiko lingine hapo kidogo nataka amina i'm sure tutaipata tu jina la bwana libarikiwe sana amen nataka tusome katika nehemaya nehemaya tusome katika nehemaya bwana wetu abarikiwe sana amen eh mlango nehemaya bwana wetu abarikiwe sana Ya yeah, Nehemiah is a Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Nehemiah chapter 10. Tuone nataka tufananishe tu uamuzi huo na uamuzi ambao watu wengine walichukua hapa. Nehemiah chapter 10 from verse 28. Pia hapa tunazungumza kuhusu Bwana wetu barikiwe sana. Amen. Eh wana wa Israeli ambao pia walikuwa wamechukuliwa katika mateka Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Mm. Si? Nataka tusome hapa kuanzia mstari wa 28. And the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the netherims, and all and they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Mm. Unto the law of God their their wives their sons their daughters everyone having knowledge and having understanding jina la bwana barikiwe sana eh mnapata kile ambacho maandiko yanasema si na wale watu wote waliosalia wale ambao walikuwa wamechukuliwa mateka walikuwa wamechukuliwa mateka wamepeleka katika nchi ya ugeni bwana wetu barikiwe sana eh tuko pamoja wapenzi Na maandiko yanasema na wale wote walio wa, ye, wangine, wa watu waliobaki makuhani e, walawi wa mabawabu waimbaji wanadhimu na watu wote waliochitenga wenyewe kutoka kwa watu wa inji blessed be the name of the lord Amen. walikuwa wamechitenga walikuwa wameseparate walikuwa wameamua kwamba we are not the same as these people. Kama tu vile Danieli katika inji ya ugeni alijua I am a Hebrew. Mimi ni Muibrania. Na hivi ndivyo maisha ya, ya, yangu ya hivyo. Hivi ndivyo nilifunzwa. Hivi ndivyo neno la Mungu linasema. Na akasimama na neno la Mungu kama vile alivyokuwa amefunzwa. 
Leo hii inakuwa vigumu sana wakati tunapokuta wa Kristo sisi vijana wetu wazee wa mama ambao wamepokea neno wamefunzwa neno and they cannot take a stand for God even in the least things hata katika mambo madogo mambo tu ya kawaida mambo tu ya maisha haya anajua kile neno linasema anajua bila amefunzwa anajua bila amehubiriwa lakini hawezi kusimama hata kidogo but look at these people blessed be the name of the lord Amen. see they had separated themselves see kumaanisha si at labda walikuwa miongoni mwao how had they separated they had purpose in their hearts oh blessed be the name of the lord Amen. see walikuwa wamejitenga namna si at walikuwa wameenda wamejijengea mahali at wameama wamejijengea mahali fulani na watu wa inji wanakaa upande walikuwa pamoja katika hiyo inji lakini walikuwa wamefanya uamuzi kutoka kwa mioyo yao kwamba hawata hawata fanye jambo lolote linalofanana na watu wa inji that's what the bible is saying here blessed be the name of the lord Amen. and all they that had separated themselves i want you to understand that they had separated themselves they had they, they had come out see they knew the God that they had believed walijua Mungu ambao walikuwa wamemwamini walijua kile neno linalokuwa limesema walijua sheria ya Mungu inasema namna gani na wakachitenga kutoka kwa watu wa inji ili wasimamie sheria ya Bwana Mungu wao wasimamie neno hiyo ndiyo tumesoma katika katika kumbukumbu eh, kumbu la Torah tunasema itakuja kuwa kwamba wakati mtakapotii sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako hapa ndiyo sasa tunaona watu ambao wameona hii ni sheria ya Bwana Mungu wetu ili ni neno la Mungu wetu this is the word this is what we have been taught this is what we have been given we will separate ourselves and we will stand with the word it doesn't matter the cost haijalishi gharama itakuwa namna gani haijalishi mateso haijalishi kama nitapoteza sifa kama nitapoteza heshima kama nitafukuzwa kama nitanyimwa chakula but as long as this is the word Amen. i will stand with the word may god help us so much Amen. i wish you had young men and young women who can do that wa fulana wasichana ambao wangechukua uamuzi wa aina hiyo wangechukua msimamo wa aina hiyo wa mama na wazee leo hii kwa sababu ya corona kwa sababu ma watu waende makanisani ni kama watu walipo, walipoteza mtazamo ni kama watu walikuwa natafuta kwa sababu kaukaa nyumbani kwa sababu ya kutokwenda kanisani listen to this blessed be the name of the lord amen they separate themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of god semeni amina amen oh do you love that at walichitenga wenyewe si walichitenga tu kwa sababu walitaka kuwa tu indifferent no they separated themselves to the word so it is the word that separated them ni neno ndilo lililowatenga walichukua neno wakaliweka hapa wakasema neno la Mungu linasemaje hivi ndivyo neno linasema tutasimama na neno na wakaamua kwamba watasimama na nini na neno that's what it means the bible is saying is very clear they separated themselves from the people of the land and to the law wakaielekeza wakaiendea sheria kwa Mungu wao wakasimamia sheria Mungu wao na leo hii wakati tumepokea ujumbe unajua hii ni sheria ambayo Mungu alikuwa amempa Musa walisoma kile Mungu alikuwa ameambia Musa sheria Mungu sheria iliyohusu maisha yao na Mungu sheria iliyohusu maisha yao moja kwa mwingine how should i treat one another how should we treat one another how should i handle a brother how should i handle a sister what should i do si blessed be the name of the lord they separated themselves to the word Bwana wetu barikiwe sana. Ni watu gani walichitenga? They are wives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mnanipata kweli, nataka mu attention yenu hiyo kwangu. They are wives. They are sons and they are daughters. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And everyone having knowledge and understanding. Kila mtu mwenye alipata kujua sheria nasema hivi. Ah, wao wake wao wa vijana wao mimi wao 
wa fulana wao walichukua msimamo wakasema we are different god has called us god has given us a message we cannot live like the rest of the people hatuwezi kuishi kama watu wengine na this is our stand this is our choice this is our decision we have decided tumeamua kwamba hatutaishi kama watu wengine tumeamua ya kwamba hatutafanya mambo kama watu wengine tutafanya kila jambo utakalolifanya tutarudi kwa neno tuulize neno linasemaje tutarudi kwa neno bwana wetu abarikiwe sana and they clave to their brethren are we together Amen. wakashika walipochitenga na watu wa inji mankens wakashikana they wakashikana si yani wakakuja pamoja is that right Amen. they clave to their brethren wakashikana na ndugu zao na wakuuao na wakaingia katika laana na katika yeah, na katika laana na wakakula kiapo kwamba watatembea katika sheria ya Bwana Mungu wao Amen. I like that mm. they took a decision whether we are strangers in the land blessed be the name of the Lord Amen. Whether the people what we enjoy to pend or pende was to pend but this is the word sisi tumeitwa kuja kuamini neno amen Mungu ametuma na B na wakajua na B wao alikuwa amewapa neno ameonyesha njia ya neno ya Mungu na wale wote walioelewa kwamba hii ni neno la Mungu maana kwa nasema wakachitenga kutoka kwa watu wa inji si inji katika hiyo mataifa waliokuwa wanakaa wana wa Israeli mara kwa mara walichukuliwa mateka walichukuliwa mateka wakaenda Misri walichukuliwa mateka wakaenda Babylon wakachukuliwa mateka wakaenda katika Ufilisti kila mahali walipoenda wale watu wote waliokuwa na kuelewa kile sheria inasema walikuwa katika injingeni walikuwa mahali ambao si pao lakini walipokuwa pale walijua neno la Mungu linasema namna gani wali walitambua sisi ni waibrania we are hebrews mm. we are believers sure. we are not the rest of, like the rest of the people mm. we are not denominational sisi watu madhehebu sisi ni waaminio sisi ni watoto wa Mungu tumetengwa na neno la Mungu eh bwana wetu barikiwe sana see i wish you get what the bible is saying here jina la bwana barikiwe sana Amen. listen to this and they clave to their brethren see was jua leo hii ndugu na dada blessed be the name of the lord ukikuta wa ndugu na wadada wanasengenyana wa ndugu na wadada wana wanawaziana vitu vibaya mambo maovu mambo yasiyofaa blessed be the name of the lord eh hey, are we together brethren Amen. see oh jina la bwana barikiwe sana see mnaelewa pensi so walijua neno la Mungu tumepewa so what they did they stood with the word na walisimama na ndugu zao wenye walikuwa wamesimama na neno nataka niwaambie si wayahudi wote walisimama na neno kuna wayahudi walikuwa wayahudi lakini walipoenda katika injingeni walijiuza waliuza imani yao kama vile leo hii waaminio anajua mimi ni mwaaminio Mungu amenipa neema najua ujumbe lakini anauza imani anauza kila ambacho Mungu ametupatia blessed be the name of the lord they clave to their brethren they are nobles and they ended into a curse si ati walichitenga tu ndugu si ati walichitenga tu dada waliamua na wakakula kiapo na wakachukua laana Amina laana ya aina gani kwamba sikiza hapa bwana wetu abarikiwe sana si kwamba eh, that will walk si they to walk in God's law which was given by Moses the servant of God are you seeing that mm-hmm. eh tuko pamoja mm-hmm. walipochitenga walichitenga wakakuja kusimama na neno mm-hmm. walisimama na neno lenye Mungu alikuwa amempa Musa mtumishi wake blessed be the name of the lord amen si 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 atuwataka tu kwa indifferent kuonekana they are they are wise or anything like that 
they went back to the word walirudi kwenye neno kama tu vile leo hii ndugu yeyote dada yeyote mwenye ameamini ujumbe huu anarudi kwa neno kila wakati neno linasemaje unapotoka kule nje you can do anything you want and we, is that true yes. see when i go out there i can do anything i want i i am there i can do anything na hakuna mtu ananishikilia kuna mtu anani atanipiga kibogo lakini there is something ambayo lazima nijue kwamba mimi ni muaminio si na nikifanya jambo lolote linadhuru waaminio linadhuru neno linadhuru ma, maisha ya waaminio wengine linadhuru kanisa la Mungu so kwa sababu nina neno nina ujuzi wa neno siwezi kwenda kule nje nikafanya vituko nikafanya vitu tu carelessly why i have the knowledge of the truth i understand what the word says and every believer must understand what the word says you go out there Anything you do you look at the word I'm a believer See mimi ni muaminio hawa jamaa walijitenga na wakageukia kwa wakaamua kwa watatembea Is that an amen Am I talking to believers What does it say that they will walk kwamba watatembea Amina See see at ni barabara hapana kwamba watadumu watakaa kwenye neno is that right yeah. watakaa katika neno they will walk in the word that they, they watatembea watadumu maisha yao kila kitu watakachofanya watafanya kulingana na neno ndio maandiko yanasema na and, and, and into an off they entered into a curse and an, wakaingia katika laana na katika kiapo kwamba watatembea katika sheria ya Bwana Mungu wao aliyompa Musa mtumishi wake na kwamba watatenda kila watatenda maagizo yote eh hey, are together Amen. to observe and to do all the commandments of the Lord our God and his judgments and his statutes kila fundisho tutasimamia kila sheria tutasimamia kila amri tutasimamia chochote cha neno tutasimamia that's a decision hey, blessed be the name of the lord Amen. let me tell you brethren glory to god Amen. when a man decides like that when a woman decides like that that's when god comes into your life would you kinachofuta mungu maisha ni mwako it is that kind of a decision you enter into a curse you enter into a vow you vow Lord whatever the cost whatever the problem whether it will mean death imaanishe kifo imaanishe kukosa imaanishe nisiwe na chochote imaanishe nitatufukuzwa inamaanisha itadikarimu nini i enter into a vow i enter into that vow i will walk with god tatembea na neno lake shida itokeze nitatembea katika neno matatizo ya inuke nitatembea katika neno nifukuzwe nyumbani nitatembea katika neno marafiki wanikataa nitatembea katika neno they walked in the law of the of, of the lord their god see that to keep every statute to keep every teaching to keep every word blessed be the name of the lord Amen. what does they do and that they would not give their daughters unto the people of the land nor take the daughters of the land for their sons liamweyo wasichana wetu akmsichana wetu mmoja akiolewa na kijana wa ulimwengu alaaniwe hiyo ndio laana alaaniwe kabisa na kijana wetu akikuwa akiwa msichana wa ulimwengu alaaniwe they entered into that vow and they promised god that they would not hawatafanya hawa atachukua binti zao wapeane kwa watu wa ulimwengu ama vijana wa ulimwengu waoe binti zao vijana ama wa, vijana wao wa wao wasichana ulimwengu ama wacha vijana ulimwengu wao wasichana wakasema pana hey, are we together Amen. blessed be the name of the lord and that if the people of the land bring their wear or any victuals on the sabbath day to sell 
and that we would not buy of it, buy it of them on the supper or on the holy day. See, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Ata vitu vyao, wakileta sokoni, siku ya sabato, hatuta mnuwa. Walingia katika oh, eh, laana kama hiyo. Wakalikula kiapo, vitu vyao, wawuse siku ingine, lakini siku ya sabato, wakileta vitu vyao hatununui. Tu, mtoto wetu awaya yote, musichana, akiolewa na kichana ulimwengu, na ala niwe. Mufulana wetu, akiwa msichana ulimwengu, asilete katikati yetu, ala aniwe. That was the alarm, that was the vow. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. That was the decision. That was the cost. And Daniel purposed the same. Maamiko yanasema, Daniel purposed in his heart. Alikusudia moyo ni mwake. Wanueta barikiwe sana. Kwa mba hata ichafua. Na hawa watu walifanya hivi kwa sababu hawa kutaka kuchafua. Hawa kutaka kuguza chochote kilicho kiovu. Hawa kutaka. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now let me read that scripture here. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. See, let me read that scripture here. See, tuone kama inashikana na hiyo. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Oh, glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Do we love the Lord Jesus? Amen. See? Do good so man. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Read from verse 14. I'll interpret. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion has light with the darkness? You see that? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Nataka muniambia kama yyo mandiko nitofauti na ila ambayo tumesoma. Bwana weta barikiwe sana. Hawa watu walipuamua. Kina Danieli walipuamua. Hawa kutakwa kufungwa nira pamoja na wasio amini. Hawa kutaka. Hawa kutaka chochote. E, muna nipata. Hawa kutaka usiano wote. Leo hii, sisi wandugu na watada. We are friends in the world that we know are very evil. Lakini tungati na frutana wao. Unajua hui mutu maisha yake ni mabaya. Njia zake ni mbovu. Lakini kwa sababu nataka utumisha urafiki kwa sababu ya faida. Hawa jamaa walijua. Wanoe tabarikia sana. Hawa wana wa Israeli. Si? Walia, walijua ya kwamba. Watu wa inji. Si? Hawa walikuwa. Hawa kuwa. Wanaamini neno lenye wao wanaamini. Hawa kusimamia yule mungu wabawa wanasimamia. Wanoe tabarikia sana. So wakasema tutachitenga na watu wa inji. We will not have any fellowship at all, at all, at all. Na hapa maandike na tuambia. Musifuwe nira pamoja na wasio amini. Ndugu. See? Don't pull together with unbelievers. Marafiki wako si waminio. We ni muaminio. Mutaazia wapi. Muna pokutana. Ushiriko na jengwa juu ya jambo gani. See kwa mba tatoroko watu ulmwengu. Lakini lazima tudumishe misimamo yetu. Ya. Yeah. Si ati hatu takana watu wa ulimwengu. Nenive kwambia kwamba hata wana wa Israeli. Si kwamba hawa kuwa. Walikuwa katika inji ambayo. Si walikuwa mechukuluwa katika mataifa. Si. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Lakini walichukua misimamo. Mioyo ni mwao. Si. Waliamua kutoka kwa mioyo yao. That they will not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Because they were on our heart to our They are unbelievers. They are heathens. And they didn't want to have anything to do with them. So they decided. They purposed. They chose not to have anything to do with them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And why? What, what separated them? It's not that they wanted to be smart. No. What separated them? What separated them was the word. Today, what separates us from the world is the word brother, is the word sister. 
Nothing else. Hakuna kitu kingine jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Amen. See? Eh, yeah, how we together brethren? Be not equally yo, and equally yoked. Msifunganishwe nira ninyi vijana. Mnatoka huko nje mna marafiki, wengine ni wako. Hata lugha yenye mnaongea, mnapokutana, unajua hii lugha ni mbaya. Hii bit tunafanya ni mbaya. Hii maisha mbaya huyu jamaa anaishi ni mabaya. Hii maisha mbaya huyu mama anaishi ni mabaya. Mienendo ya huyu mama ni mbaya. God help us so much. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You may agree with me, you may not agree, but I want to tell you that God, for God to ever walk with you, if God will ever walk with you, kama mungu atatebea na wewe, mi nawambia kama ndugu yenu, mungu hachanganyi mambo. Mungu is not a mixer. Mungu is a separator. He will separate. And he separates by the word. Anakupatia neno, Hilo neno ndio nakutenga. Anakupa tu neno. Hawa jamaa kilichowafanya wajitenge ni neno. Sina, walichukua uamuzi huo. Na wakasimamia neno. Na Mungu aliwabariki. Mungu alisimama na wao. I want you to understand brother sister. Ati Danieli anatupwa kwenye tundu la simba. Na simba wamewekwa bila chakula for seven days bila kuonja chakula. Wewe na mimi hapa tukikaa siku moja tangu asubuhi mpaka jioni bila chakula na amini ya kwamba hata ukipewa tu takataka utakula but this fell this man daniel seven hawa simba seven days hawajaonja chochote na wakachukua daniel wakatupa ndani now kuna watu wanafikiri labda huo ni mzamo ni mchezo blessed be the name of the lord Amen. when you when unapochukua neno la mungu there is power enough kuna nguvu za kutosha mpaka leo hii kuweza kulinda muaminio kusimamia muamini mimi nataka niwaambie hauna sababu ya kujiuza kwa ulimwengu just because of chakula na vitu vingine hauna sababu ama unataka tu sifa hauna sababu because god is able i'm telling you the truth jehovah god is more than able to do for us marvelous kama bila alifanyia daniel akamweka katika tundu la simba Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hey, are we together, brethren? Amen. See? Akasimama. Be not equal to you. Kwa sababu, kuna nuru, kuna, kuna, usiano gani katia aminie na asia amini. Kuna ushirika gani kati ya haki na wazi. Kuna ushirika gani katia nuru na giza. Pia, maandika nasema, kuna mapatano gani mapatano gani si kati ya Kristo na Beliali ama wewe uaminie na yule asiamini mna sehemu gani mnanipata kweli Dr. Jumapili Mungu atusaidie utaona blessed be the name of the Lord si haya tunasema tunasonga verse 16 na kuna makubaliano gani kati ya hekalu la Mungu na vinyago kwa sababu nyinyi ni hekalu la Mungu aliye hai unakuacha hekalu Mungu ni neno is that right unakuacha hekalu la Mungu si unakuaje hekalu ni chombo ama ni chumba ambacho kinahifadhi vitu Bwana wetu barikiwe sana Amen. si katika agano la kale katika hekalu waliweka pale ndani sanduku la agano kilichofanya hekalu si hekalu lililokuwa takatifu ni sanduku la agano takatifu lililokuwa katika hekalu bwana wetu abarikiwe sana Amen. so leo hii wali, na sanduku la agano lilikuwa na amri kumi za Mungu so neno lilipowekwa katika hekalu bwana wetu abarikiwe sana Amen. blessed be the name of the lord Amen. ni neno ndilo lilikuwa la muhimu So sanduku la agano lilibeba neno. Leo hii wewe na mimi tuna, tunaitwa hekalu la Mungu kwa sababu Mungu neno anakuja ndani yako. Mungu neno anakuja kukaa ndani yako. Na Mungu neno ni mtakatifu. Mungu neno ni msafi. Mungu neno ni mkamilivu. 
So Mungu ambaye ni neno. Kwa sababu hapo mwanzo palikuwa hapo na neno. Naye neno sio nalo neno. Naye neno alikuwa kwa Mungu. Naye neno alikuwa Mungu. E, tuko pamoja. So neno Mungu. Si neno Mungu ni neno gani? Ni lile neno ambalo limefunuliwa na kupeanwa kwako wakati katika wakati na uishi. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are we together? Hilo ndio linaitwa neno. Jina la Bwana barikiwa sana. So unapochukua neno unapokubali neno la Mungu ambalo tunajua neno la Mungu ni Mungu mwenyewe. Si akiva mwili wa neno, akiwa na mwili wa neno, anapokuja ndani yako hilo neno. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hilo neno lina wewe unakuwa sahikaru chombo cha kul, cha kulinda mi chombo ambacho Mungu anakaa ndani. Mungu nena anakaa ndani yako sasa wewe ni chombo ambacho Mungu anakaa kama umepokea neno kama utapokea neno wewe si chombo cha Mungu na Mungu kwa sababu na wewe ubebe ai wewe ni chombo tu cha shetani kwa sababu kila ambacho umebeba ni shetani ni ni maisha ya shetani blessed be the name of the lord so kila ambacho maandiko yanasema hapa ni kwamba nyinyi ni hekalu la Mungu aliye hai blessed be the name of the lord Amen. So neno lililo hai linapokuja ndani yako not just not just si neno ambalo liko katika nukta hapana Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana Amen. si neno ambalo lina nguvu lina uwezo wa Mungu linapokuja ndani yako blessed be the name of the lord lina nguvu kwa sababu gani linafanya neno likinje ndani yako na hizo nguvu hilo neno linakufanya ufanye kila ambacho neno linataka. Are we together? Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa vile Mungu amesema nitakaa ndani yao na kutembea ndani yao. Nani huyo? Mungu neno. Is that right? Amen. Oh glory to God. Amen. Ndio naona tulisoma katika Nehemiah kumi nane. kwamba hawa watu waliamua kwamba watatembea katika neno kumaanisha watadumu katika neno watafanya kila kitu watafanya watafanya katika neno Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana neno ndio litashawishi mienendo tabia na kila kitu maisha yao yatashawishiwa neno sasa hii ndio maana hiyo blessed be the name of the lord kwa sababu Mungu alisema wakimnikupokea mimi mimi nitakuja ndani yao nikatakaa ndani yao na nitatembea ndani yao blessed be the name of the lord Amen. neno gani neno lililo hai neno la Mungu hili neno ambao tumepokea ujumbe huu ambao tumepokea blessed be the name of the lord Amen. see just to get as i close wacha nisome kitu kidogo tu hapa alafu muone kile anamaanisha i'm trying to emphasize something Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. See? Nataka tusome. Amen. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Tasema nataka tusome Timothy First Timothy chapter 3. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Nataka tusome. Amen. Yeah, nataka tusome 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Hiyo Biblia ni Kiswahili ndugu. Nasoma unaweza kusoma Kiswahili. Yeah, some. See, blessed be the name of the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. I want, um, I want to show nataka kuonyesha neno gani. Amina. Kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu Mm. lafaa kwa mafundisho ah enda pole pole kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu ndilo linalofaa kumaanisha andiko lolote ambalo halina pumzi ya Mungu halifai hata likihubiriwa halizai matunda Hali, halina nguvu ya kushawishi maisha mengine 
si ya kuchochea mtu aishi maisha mengine so hilo andiko lenye unasoma hii maandiko lazima yawe na pumzi ya Mungu so unapopokea neno lenye pumzi ya Mungu hilo ndilo neno linalokufunza tabia ya Mungu amen hilo ndilo neno linaloleta tofauti maishani mwako ukienda katika madhehebu uko nje makanisani watu wanahubiri neno lakini je hilo neno lina pumzi ya Mungu au la Ukitaka kujua hilo neno wanaohubiriwa lina pumzi ya Mungu au la angalia uone maisha ya neno ndani yao right. angalia uone kama wata, wanasimamia na kutii maandiko amen kasa chochote ambacho hakina pumzi kimekufa right. so wanapokea nukta iliyokufa wana wana wanahubiriwa tu nukta ambayo inaleta mauti haileti uzima right. so glory to god amen maandiko yanaposema bwana mungu anaposema nami nitakaa ndani yao na kutembea ndani yao ni Mungu neno aliye na neno lilo na nguvu na uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu lililo hai hilo neno lilo na pumzi ya Mungu ndilo linalofaa kwa mafundisho is that right amen yeah, amina eh? amen. kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu lafaa kwa mafundisho is profitable mm-hmm. yeah eh? na kwa kuwaonya watu makosa yao. Ya, yeah, hilo neno likiwa na pumzi ya Mungu, liki, likifikia watu na hiyo pumzi, is that right? Amen. Ninaonya watu makosa yao. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Wacha mtu apokee tu neno. Si? Akipokea neno, kila wakati atakuwa conscious ya makosa yake. Kwa sababu gani? Kile kinachomuonya kiko ndani yake. Si kila ambacho anahubiriwa tu kila Jumapili alikipokea kiko ndani yake. Amen. So popota alipo popota endapo. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Kila ambacho kiko ndani yake kinamuonya makosa yake kwa sababu kiko hai. Eh? Na kwa kuwaongoza na kwa kuwabadilisha katika haki. Kuadhimisha ya kuadhibisha. Yeah. Yaani to instruct haki. you in righteousness. Hmm. Hilo neno lenye pumzi ya Mungu ndio nakupatia mwongozo wa kutembea katika haki kutembea katika utakatifu kutembea katika maisha ya Mungu ni neno neno lililo hai amen blessed be the name of the lord amen eh verse 17 ili mtu wa Mungu awe kamili ya yeah. amekamilishwa apate kutenda kila tendo jema jema bwana wetu abarikiwe sana amen ili mtu wa Mungu aweze kuwa mkamilivu tunakamilishwa na neno right. we are made perfect Amen. perfection is here you get perfect when you are here Amen. you don't get perfect when you go to heaven mm-hmm. hauwe mkamilivu unapoenda mbinguni mm-hmm. unakuwa mkamilivu hapa sio we sio ukamilivu wako mm-hmm. lakini ukamilivu wa Yesu Kristo right. Yesu Kristo ambaye ni neno lililo kamili perfect word Amen. when it is received your life it gives you a perfect walk It gives you a perfect thought. Inakupa mawazo masafi, makamilivu, mawazo mazuri, mienendo mizuri. Kwa sababu kila ambacho umepokea ni kikamilivu. That's right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, jina la Bwana barikiwe sana. I go back to Second Corinthians mali tulikuwa. Are we together? Amen. See, maandiko yanasema nitakaa ndani yao na kutembea ndani yao. Nami nitakuwa Mungu wao, nao watakuwa watu wangu. Amina. Amina. Mimi nitakuwa Mungu wao na wao watakuwa watu wangu. Watu aina gani? Watu ambao walichukua msimamo wa neno. Mm. Watu ambao waliamua maisha ni mwao kwamba watatembea na Mungu, watasimamia neno. Walifanya uamuzi mkamilivu. Amina. Walifikia mahali wakaamua kwamba watatembea na Mungu. Amina. Hao ndio watu Mungu Mungu nitakaa ndani yao na kutembea ndani yao. Na mimi Mungu nitakuwa Mungu wao na watakuwa watu wangu. Watu wataitwa watu wa Mungu. Eh bas. Eh wacha tusome sasa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Haya bas 17 that's the point I wanted. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate says the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. Ya, yeah. wanaleta barikiwa sana. 
Eh mnaamini hiyo ni kweli. Now can you take that, that verse 17 na urudishe Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 28 kwamba hao watu waliamua kwamba hawatachafua si na wakaingia katika kiapo wakaingia katika laana kwamba watatembea katika neno watatembea katika neno la Mungu watatembea katika sheria ya Mungu waliamua walichagua walifanya uamuzi kwamba hii ndio njia si tutafuata hii ndio hivi ndivyo si tutaishi tutaishi hivi hiyo ni uamuzi oh glory to god Amen. maisha ndugu na dada yenye na mimi tunaishi hapa duniani ni chaguo lako ni chaguo lako mtu yeyote leo hii anaweza kuchagua kutembea na Mungu ama anaweza kuchagua kutembea na shetani ni chaguo lako hao watu walichagua wakasema sisi hatutachangamana na watu wa ulimwengu na watu wa mataifa haya na tumeamua na tunafanya laana kwamba hatutakuza vitu vyao hata vyakula vyao hatutanunua kama watukuleta siku ya sab- ya sabatu tu watoto wetu hawataoana na watu wao hatutafanya hivyo na wakaamua kwamba watashikana na ndugu zao wakaamua kwamba watashikana na wakuu wao wahubiri wao they are no boss they are brethren they purpose that they will cleave to their brethren and to their no boss no boss ni viongozi wao watachukua neno la viongozi wao leo hii unaubria watu kanisani wanakuangalia tu unapohubiri ukitoka wakitoka hapo nje wanasema akae na maneno yake si mimi nitaishi bila mimi nataka nitaenda mahali nataka nitatenda dhambi bila nataka these people chose so leo hii the life you 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 live maisha unayoishi ni chaguo lako danieli alipokuwa katika babylon god help us so much Amen. he chose it was his choosing see aliamua i will not define myself i'm a hebrew i'm a child of god mimi ni mtoto wa mungu mimi ni muyahudi si mimi nilitahiriwa si wanaweza barikiwa sana sitafanya dhambi hata kama mambo yakiwa magumu na namna gani hata hali niremee namna gani sitafanya dhambi kwa sababu nina uwezo wa kufanya kwa sababu kana nafasi kamepatikana gagiza kamepatikana si hakuna mtu ananiona iwe mtu ananiona ama mtu hanioni mimi najua macho ya Mungu yananiona amen god is just watching you exactly kama tu vile watu wengine wanakuangalia na kuangalia vile unatoka hapa vile unafanya hivi vile una hatua zako zote the bible says the eyes of the lord are upon are upon the righteous na mali pengine nasema the eye of the lord is upon them that do good and them that do evil macho ya mungu inaona so it's a choice hey, glory to god amen ni chaguo ni wewe kuchagua what kind of life you want to live utataka kuishi maisha gani tumepewa neno tumeletewa nabii tuna ujumbe blessed be the name of the lord amen si kwa sababu hiyo muda tu bwana wetu barikiwe sana amen. jina la bwana barikiwe sana amen. now maybe just a little bit let me read the last scripture here bwana wetu barikiwe sana amen. amen is it okay it's almost going off but it's okay karibu nasha Let me just read the scripture tuta or tuta so tuta endelea baadaye. I want us to read the book of Ruth. Bwana wetu barikiwe sana. Yeah, and us to read the book of Ruth. Mungu tusaidie sana sana. Tutaanzia next Sunday tutaanzia hapo. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the story of Ruth tutaendelea lakini acha nisome tu chapter 1 verse 16. And Ruth said Na Ruth akasema Usini usini pe usini sini ni kuache ni kuache wewe. Nirudi kwa watu wangu. Si? Ni waache kufuatana na wewe. Usiniambie kwamba nisiandabatane na wewe. Kwa sababu popote uendapo nitaenda. Maru talala nitalala 
Watu wako watakuwa watu wangu. Mungu wako atakuwa Mungu wangu. Mahali utakufia ndio nitakufia. Mahali utazikwa ndipo nitazikwa. Na Bwana afanye nami saidi sana kwamba ni kifo tu pekee kitajitenga kati yangu na wewe. Amen. Are you seeing that? Amen. Decision. Sure. Look at that. God loves that. This was a Moabite. She was not even a Jew. Huyu ni Moabu. Si Muyahudi. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But look at that decision. Alipofanya uamuzi huo, Mungu hakujali kama ni Muyahudi, I mean ni Moabu. Mungu alimbariki. Amen. Mungu alimpa baraka ya ajabu. Sure. Bwana wetu abarikiwe sana. Amen. Alikuwa tu msichana tu akawaita kama wasichana wengine. Mm. Wenye wangetamani wanaume. Wenge wen, as kwanza hata huyu amekuwa alikuwa ameyao amekaa na Bwana. Na Bwana amekufa akimwacha akiwa msichana hata jazaa hata mtoto. Lakini ilipofika kwamba atasimamia neno. Hakuangalia kama na mtoto ama na mtoto hata angalia hakuangalia kama atakuwa na mume ama atakuwa na mume mm -hmm. awe ni mume if there is a man or there is no man if there is a child or there is no child i'm going to serve god i will serve god with all my heart lord unipe watoto usinipe watoto unipe mume usinipe mume unipe bibi usinipe bibi this is my decision mm -hmm. i will serve you amen yeah i will go with this god tena na tutembea na huyu Mungu. Hiyo ndiyo decision inaleta Mungu maisha ni mwetu. Amen. Hiyo ndiyo inakupa Roho Mtakatifu ndugu na dada. Usije ukafikiria kwamba atutafanya fasting na Mungu akupe Roho Mtakatifu. Fasting is good. But fasting without that kind of a decision is a waste of time. Sure. Mungu afanye mambo kama hayo. Mm. Jina la Bwana barikiwe sana. Amen. Kuna watu wengi wamefast lakini Mungu hajafanya kazi na wao hivyo. Kwa sababu gani? Fasting does not bring God in your life. Fasting only helps you to discipline your body. To make your body subject. See? To what you want to do. Lakini kile kinacholeta mungu maisha ni mwetu. It's your choice. It's your decision. Narudia tu hiyo. Kama utataka kutembea na mungu. Kama mungu atafanya kitu maisha ni mwako. Lazima uamwe kwa ajili yake. Lazima uchukwe msimamu. Amekupa neno. Jesus unavyofanya na hilo neno ilivyo ndivyo Mungu atafanya na wewe. Bila unajiendesha na hilo neno ndivyo Mungu atafanya na wewe. Ukiliheshimu hilo neno na kuliishia hilo neno Mungu ana atakubariki. Hata mapepo yainuke milioni moja. lazima Mungu akubariki. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. See? Let's pray. Msimame tuombe. Oh. Our precious, loving Heavenly Father, Amen. we are just a mortal people mm. with many weaknesses, Amen. with many failures. Mm. We hear a great deal, blessed love in church, Jesus Christ. Mm. But Lord God, dear Master, you have always looked at the purpose of the heart. That's right, Lord. The heart, Lord, what the heart purposes, mm. that's what you respect, my Father. Sure. All heaven will support that decision, Amen. if that decision is made for you. Amen. Lord God, whether they be demons, whether they be all kinds of spirits, my Father, Amen. as long as a man or a woman takes a decision to serve you and makes that decision solid, blessed Lord God, Amen. and the purposes in their hearts, precious Jesus, every power in heaven, everything, oh God, all the angels in heaven will support that decision sure. and will bless that soul. Oh, precious Jesus, it doesn't matter what the cost. Lord, you have always blessed your children mm -hmm. as long as they have taken a stand like that. Mm -hmm. The problem we have today, Lord, is our stand, That's is right. the way we started our Christian life. Mm -hmm. We started our Christian life on very weak grounds, Lord. Mm -hmm. Very weak decisions. Mm -hmm. Very worthy, oh God. Not even purposing, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we, we come to you because of circumstances, mm -hmm. because of influence, Father. Mm -hmm. But when it comes up, a man comes to you upon the conviction of your precious word, mm -hmm. you are bound to bless that man. Mm -hmm. You are bound to bless that woman. Mm -hmm. 
Father, may you grant it, Lord. Grant it. Bless our brethren now, each one of us. Mm. Bless the brethren out there. Let the Holy Spirit come upon them mm. in such a way, Lord, to help them to walk in this way. Amen. Lord, strengthen them, Father. Amen. Strengthen their stance. Strengthen their decisions. Mm. Make it strong, blessed Lord God. Mm. Let them walk with you, precious Jesus. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father, for this little service. Glory be to your great, wonderful name. Amen. Help me, Lord. I'm weak, Lord. I'm just a... Lord, I need you so much. Mm. If there is anybody that has need, Lord, it's me. I pray that you be gracious and kind and help me, blessed Lord Jesus. I dedicate myself to you. I pray that the Spirit of God will be upon me. Mm. Be upon the brethren, Father, them that are watching out there. Mm. May you give them grace and mercy. May the Holy Ghost be upon them to keep them and strengthen them. Grant it, blessed Lord Jesus, as I commit them to you. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you so much. Amen.